It is a crazy battle. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Oh, this one's got a fighter lodged in his wing. That's hilarious. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Galactic Grid. So today we're gonna is gonna be the first of a few or of a a new video series that I'm going to be doing um, uh, for the Galactic Grid. Um, this this video series is going to be going over different builders of the community. Um, uh, and uh, in this video, uh, we're going we're going to be showcasing. Um, uh, a builder in the Starship Evo and actually the uh, uh, Space Engineers building community. Of course, I'm going to be looking at all of his his uh, space or all of his uh, Starship Evo um, uh, creations. Um, he has way too many Space Engineers um, uh, builds for me to go over. So um, eventually, I might go look at them. But um, for now, we're going to go over the uh, his um, uh, Starship Evo collection um which he has quite a few ships um and they're all really cool um so and they have a really deep lore behind them which i'm you know i'm very impressed i always like it when someone goes into depth and really creates a lore behind their ships and stuff that's always 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 so cool anyway um so but this is going to be a series that is going to be looking at each one of these creators content and um, uh, show, showcasing all of the builds that they've built in the last few years or something like that. So um, for this video, we're going to go ahead and start off. We're going to go from the smallest chip up to the largest chip. Um, it's going to be kind of a longish video because there's a lot of ships to go over. Um, I'm going to be, um, I'm going to be sh putting all these ships in the description, all the downloads for these ships you can find in the description. Um, uh, you can find, you can also find them just by looking for them in the, uh, Steam Workshop. Um, but, uh, this guy's name is Lord Commissar. He is, uh, <laughs> he's a really good builder. We're going to go ahead and look at his ships here. So first one. We're going to be going at or looking at here is the heron or the heron it's a smaller fighter um it's fairly well fairly well equi equipped um but it's very highly detailed i love the detail on this thing it's just it's so good um it's very very maneuverable too the thing is fast um but uh, I love how he's he's gone into that much detail. I mean, and, the, and then the detail itself on the ship itself is just really good. I mean, the cockpit is it's one of the most detailed cockpits for a small ship like this that I've ever seen. And it's so much detail. Um, but it also has it has moving parts like these. These wings down here they move um, I'm gonna insert a, uh, a, a shot of this ship in flight and to kind of illustrate what it does um, but anyway so we'll go ahead and move on to the next um, uh, ship so this is the Nighthawk the Nighthawk The Nighthawk is, is a very interesting looking fighter. 
once again the wings move this is it's um uh, landing gear mode it's got some really big guns um it looks like it's got some pretty big size good size beam cannons on it um this is what it looks like to get in the vehicle um uh, just the cockpit just kind of pops open you got a little staircase that goes up which is kind of cool i like it i like it um but uh Um, all right, so um, this is the Raven. It's a multi-purpose fighter, basically. Um, this is what the cockpit looks like. Very nice. Very compact. Um, this one has doesn't have quite as much weaponry. But it does have some pretty good size, some pretty good guns on it. Um, just like that one over there, the wings fold down when in flight. Um, it is called, there is the Raven. The Raven was developed as a more compact alternative to the Strike Heavy Fighter. Before you have automated turrets. I wonder if that's what these are. They are turrets. That's pretty freaking cool. So that means this has these are turrets too. That's pretty cool. I never really thought of the I thought of putting turrets on my wings on a on a fighter. <laughs> so it has fixed weapons right here, and then it has gimbaled um, uh, turreted weapons. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, anyway, uh, moving right along. So the next, um, uh, vehicle we have is the, the, the score, or the Scura, which once again has folding up wings. It's a much bigger design though. This one is almost like a troop transport, I want to say. We'll actually look inside this time um he is very this this creator this builder has a real good talent for building very detailed interiors his interiors are really good and you'll see once we get into these larger ships over here that he spares no expense for the interiors this right here is just absolutely beautiful we have the interior here for the engine room. It's very nice. Um, we have the interior for the just like the living quarters. It has a couple of little cabin sort of sort of cabin like things. Yep, these are cabins. Two cabins for transport. This is this is a really small ship. Like this is not a, a very large ship, but he's included everything. You know, everything from like a bathroom. <laughs> so I mean, this is everything in this in this little ship. Um, you have the VIP. Um, uh, I want to say this is like the cabin up here. Not really a cabin it's more of a eating area this is definitely more of like a i want to say a transport for dignitaries or something like that you're transporting very important people and then you have the flight crew they have their own bed as well and then you have the cabin for the, the uh, cockpit which is actually really well done i love this glasswork this is 
very, very nice. I cannot wait until he adds glass pent or glass uh, hepkas, and we'll be able to have proper glass. <laughs> but he's he's done some really good glass work here. Um, but the exterior of the ship is also very well detailed. Um, you've got some you got greebles going on here. This greeble work down here is really nice. I like that. Um, and then, of course, he's got the thrusters here, which are awesome. Does kind of look like there's a little bit of clipping going on, maybe? I must have done that post her um, before the, the great clipping. Um, but it's not a lot, so I'm not, I'm not gonna. But I'm not gonna say he's going for it. But anyway, once again, I'll go ahead and. Um, uh, insert a clip of this ship in flight to show you kind of what it looks like while it's flying. Um, um, anyway, back to the back to the Osprey. Um, so the Osprey um, it's definitely more of a combat vessel than the last vessel. Uh, we're gonna I'm gonna go ahead and start these turrets are nice too. I like these turrets. Um, but this this design this is so beautiful. Um, it is a very, it's a much sim more simple craft inside than the one we just looked at a second ago. Um, it's it's pretty big, but it is a straight combat vessel. I mean, you you look at it, you use oh, no no mistaking it being straight combat. Um, you come in here once again. It's the interior is may not be much, but it is very detailed. I mean, just look at all that. Even just the pipe work, I love it. Um, it has uh, it has a lot of ladders. I've noticed in a lot of his latest ships, which doesn't really make sense. I mean, I mean the ladders are there, but they don't do anything. I, I'm, I can't really use them, which is kind of annoying. But um, I love his stairs too. Their stairs are the stairs are really nice. Got a got some sideways chairs here. I give props for those because I love those. Um, but the detail, I mean, he's got a kitchen here, you know, he's got a kitchen with sink and, and, oh my gosh, the detail, I love the detail, um, but, uh, and then in here we've got some cabins with beds, even got little TVs and stuff, um, for the, uh, for the crew, and then of course you've got your lavatory, everything from the shower all the way up to the toilet and then you have the cockpit and so you have your it looks like it has a crew of, of four you have your two um two guys here and then you have four bunks so i'm, I'm assuming there's um, i'm assuming there's i mean i'm guessing there's an engineer or is there there's not really um, controls for the turrets so maybe there's two shifts you have uh, you have the two that are piloting um, uh, and then you have two that are off duty maybe I don't know um, But yeah, it's a, it's a very well equipped ship. I like how he's got this universal docking thing going on here. Um, some of his some of his newer ships, he's got that universal dock set up. Um, the next ship we're going to look at is the Hydra. The Hydra is this one right over here. The Hydra. Now this ship is absolutely glorious. I love this thing. It is so good. He he built this ship um, before some of the newer updates and stuff. So it's it's got it does have the turrets and cool stuff, but it's it's also um, uh, still uses some uh, clipping and whatnot. Um, it's an older ship, so it uses some of the old stuff and. 
if you do download this ship um unfortunately the gate or the, the ramp is kind of broken right now i don't know if he, he's gonna have to do something about it i don't know or if you're a logic genius you can get in there and fix it because it maybe it just needs to be tweaked a little bit but all i know is that if you try to use it initially it's not going to work it just kind of breaks for some reason i don't know why but um i had to manually lower this ramp so um but uh so these things are a beast um they've got some pretty freaking good they've got some good setup here um you've got a lot of fixed weapons and then you've also got a ton and i say a ton of turrets this thing is just just absolutely amazing um so the interior is just as cool um it's it's i would say that his detail work has definitely come a ways since the um has definitely come a long ways when you look at his newer stuff um because this stuff he came out with um uh when he first started playing on starship evo i want to say um and so it's not as detailed but it's still pretty dang detailed um and i like his style even in this these ships um but there's just some really good stuff in here I like how when you have the elevator um, uh, down there, this door's um, uh, got bars that go out in front of it, so you can't just walk out onto the uh, <laughs> onto an empty floor. That's just awesome. So he's just got he's got lots of different like this ship is is kind of small, but yet at the same time it's so detailed got all this down here you've got an actual like engine room that really shows off a lot of stuff you got all this engine stuff down here Open so that back up in here so um is so so heavily detailed and you've got um the computer stuff in this room here i like how he's he's got he's got all of his doors are labeled so you can kind of see everything um every one of his ships has this kind of like grand hall like room is pretty cool it's got cabins and all of these ships all the ships that have um, uh, crew quarters that are big enough to have like a bunch of crew they all have um, uh, designations for like who goes in those cabins like for instance this is like lower rank um, and then you have slightly higher up rank um and then you have bathroom i believe it's a bathroom, a bathroom. Um, and then this is i believe this is like coolant for the uh the guns um I believe this is ah uh, yes i forgot this ship actually has a docking ring that that um uh, shoots out the front of the ship and then you can dock up with um a docking ring or something like that which is pretty cool when you think about it, a ship like this would need something like that. Um. Wait. 
I swear, that's so cool. Um, up here we have, I think this is the med bay. Yep, we have a medical bay. Dude, it's so cool. We've got a regeneration chamber. Fill it with Bacta. Um, I believe this is the captain's quarters. Yep, this is the captain's quarters. Um, we have the first mate's quarters, which is not as good, but it's still pretty good. Um, we have kind of a little lounge going on up here. This is the top of that that galley like looking thing and then you have the main galley where all the crew comes to eat basically and then of course you have the actual uh, command deck um, You have multiple chairs here. I believe this is supposed to be like the captain's chair. You have the pilot turrets, turret operation. Um, for a ship this size, I imagine you would need a crew to operate different, um, uh, like, like you have different operation stations here. And then I imagine you would have a uh, engineering crew that would be back here keeping the engine good and stuff like that so but that's just how freaking awesome this ship is but that 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 was the hydra and it's slightly bigger than this other ship over here i'm gonna be showing off um this one over here is i've actually already done a video on this ship um this is the uh What's it called? Oh yeah, the skill, the Skilla Destroyer. Skilla Destroyer is. Um, this I think was one of his first ships that he put out. Um, I don't think it was his first. I'm pretty sure some of those fighters over there were his first, but this one is his first like um, big. Um, uh, gunship I want to say um, but it, it's very well done um, it shows that he's got a lot of talent from when he was building when he's building ships over in um, space engineers so he brought a lot of that talent over I think um, is the Norwell the Norwell is the first of um, uh, I'm assuming the first of many um, uh, transport vessels. This one is a basically a gas carrier. It is got a whole bunch of big, heavy um, uh, fuel tanks that it can basically transport. Um, it's got a big connector up here, so once resource gathering and um, uh, transportation becomes a thing in the game, this ship will become very useful. Um, it's actually a very well designed transport ship too. I like the look of it. It's really cool looking. Um, he has, I think he actually built this ship fairly recently too. It wasn't that long ago that he released it. It is the only ship of the line that doesn't really have much of an interior. It has one, but it's, it's really small interior. And the interior is, the only way to get to it is by this ladder, which you have to use your jetpack because, well, ladders don't really work in the game yet. <laughs> so... Um, once they do, and that would be amazing when they finally do work in the game. But so this ship is has been upgraded. I guess he did make a original version of this ship um, uh, a while back, but then he upgraded it. Um, 
I didn't actually pull that version because I figured that I had this one. So I would just review this one. Or not really review it, but showcase it. Um, so to get into this ship, you have to go up the ladder. Just kind of just go up. Um, you come into basically the cabin of the ship, which is really the only actual interior. The rest of it's all basically exterior. Um, it has a bathroom, which has a window. <laughs> so I uh, hope you're not in a spaceport where <laughs> um, uh, people can see through the window and see you going through the bathroom. Um, it has two bunks. Four, actually three bunks for the uh it should have four. I mean it's got four chairs. So I guess someone is just gonna have to take turns. <laughs> That's funny. Um so you have the you have the pilot co pilot and you have most likely the sensor scanner person and then you have a random desk. Which actually is a really good desk. I like that. It's got a pencil and everything. Um, and then back over here, you have the exit out onto the, um, uh, fuel area, where you can walk along and look at the fuel tanks, the pipes everywhere. Um, and then you have little ladders that take you down to the lower deck of the, uh, the, the tanks, basically. This is basically just catwalks that go all the way around the ship. This one goes around the back. Um, that's basically the engine, sort of. Um, there really is not much of an interior to speak of for this ship. It's just basically this front cabin area up here. This is basically like a space truck. <laughs> you have you have the cabin, and then you have everything it's towing. <laughs> So, um, I do really like the fact that he made all of these ships capable of just landing on the surface. Like, none of these ships are actually docked in a dock, they're in a, in a hangar. Um, none of these ships are actually in a hangar bay, I just have them landing just on the surface of the planet here. Um, so all these ships can just land in gravity, which is really cool, I like that. I like uh, attention to detail when it comes to being able to land on the surface. Um, they have, they take um, center of mass very seriously. Of course, like I said, um, uh, Lord Lord Commissar is coming over from Space Engineers, where it's very important to make sure that your ships have take center of mass into effect and you're not end up when you land on the surface of the planet your nose doesn't go crashing into the ground and you end up having to rebuild the front of your ship <laughs> um luckily in starship evo that doesn't happen if your ship bounce collides with the surface of the planet it, it's not a, it's not the end of the world <laughs> so um but uh in uh, Space Engineers, it kind of is. So he's gotten used to building like that and thinking like that. So a lot of his builds are, are that way, which is really cool. Um, I also just love... I love it when I see a design language carried over into an entire fleet of ships. Um, even these two blue and white ones aren't that much different from the ones that he's got over here. It's a darker blue, and the blue is basically over all the whole ship, instead of like he's got going on here. And of course, the detail work on the interior is much different. It's more utilitarian looking, um, but he's still got a theme going on here, and I love that. Um, I'm going to be going over some other builders here in another few weeks or so that have some really good builds as well. Um, but anyway, guys, if you got to the end of this video, I congratulate you. This is a really long video so far. It's almost an hour long. Um, uh, once I add in all of the uh, the footage from the ships flying around and stuff, 
Um, the one last thing that I wanted to do before we call it quits is um, uh, one of the traditions, or one of the things I want to start as a tradition with these videos, especially with, with the, um, the, the build um, showcase videos, the builder showcase videos, is I'm going to take all these ships um, uh, and we're going to start up a space battle. Um, uh, and we're going to do is we're going to make a space battle with all of these ships and, um, <laughs> and we're going to end off the video with the space battle guys. So, um, uh, stay tuned for that guys. All right. So I'm back. Um, now, um, uh, I've really quickly wanted to go over the, um, uh, how this, um, this uh, battle space battle editor works in order to get into it you press the f8 key um uh press the f8 key that pops up with your spaceship ed or the space battle editor this is a new feature that they just added to the game recently which is it's really cool um it's way way better than having to spawn in each creek each um uh, um uh, ai individually and stuff like that is but um, this this um, <laughs> this uh, this battle battle editor is really fun. So um, first thing you're gonna do when you when you open it up is this is gonna be completely blank in here. You're not gonna see anything at all. Um, you go here, you hit add new ship, and it's gonna pop up with your blueprints, and then you just go in and add whatever ship you want. Um, and then it'll it'll pop up on here and then you just you tell the computer where where you want it to spawn you know, what distance you want it to spawn at um how many of that of that ship and whether it's a uh, friend or foe basically eventually i think he plans on making this actually a faction icon where you can switch it to different factions and stuff but right now it's just friend or foe um so once you've got it all set up, I've got it set up here for a battle. Um, nice big battle. So we got the pirates versus the... Oh, I need to... Use this. Um, so we've got... Um, we've got two different factions. We've got the friendly and the foes. Um, uh, the, uh, basically the pirates and the and the police I guess you could say um, both factions are evenly matched they're basically the exact same um, we have two of the um, uh, and I have to pull up my uh, cheat sheet here uh, Osprey they have we have two of the Ospreys um, one Hydra because the Hydra is more of a an artillery ship very powerful ship. I, I didn't want to put that one too too many of that in there. We have two um, uh, Silka battle cruisers. We have four Nighthawk um, uh, bombers, basically. Um, six Raven fighters and six Horan fighters. Um, uh, and both sides have have both of these. I'm gonna spawn the pirates about a kilometer about a kilometer away, and then I'm gonna spawn the um, the good guys right next to me so um and then i'm just gonna fly around and watch the battle and we're gonna see what happens guys so here we go it is a crazy battle Oh, that's so funny. Oh, this one's got a fighter lodged in its wing. That's hilarious.
Yeah, get those spiders. Load them up. Oh crap, look at all them. <laughs> this is this is cool. It's definitely gonna be my favorite part of these videos. <laughs> And it looks like the battle is basically over, um, at least here anyway, I don't, but, anyway guys, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this, this video, um, uh, showcasing, uh, Lord Commiss Commissars, uh, Com Lord Commissars, um, uh, ships and his uh, his builds um, like I said we're gonna be uh, showcasing a builder um, uh, once a month um, from the community and I'm gonna be making a video showing all of his ships and then at the bin we're gonna have a big battle every time so um, uh, tell me what you guys thought of this of this cool little format for a video um, if you guys liked it let me know um, if you think I should change anything also let me know um, uh, but, uh, um, we're going to be doing a bunch more videos soon, and we will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.